Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, hmm. Eddie Hearn, Frank Warren, Tyson Fury, Bob Arum. They're all bought Johnny Nelson, they've wheeled Johnny out. Uh, they're all saying that Joshua against Tyson Fury is a done deal. They've agreed a deal in principle, but I'm just looking at Eddie Hearn, he's saying they haven't signed any contracts. There's loads of stumbling blocks, so let's just have a look at these stumbling blocks, shall we? Have a look. Dillian White's in mix, isn't he? He's mandatory. Eddie Hearn's saying they've got to fight him. Tyson Fury's got to fight him if he fights Wilder, or if he don't fight Wilder. Joshua's got pool F. I mean, look at the other people queuing up here. Usek against Chisora, winner of that's going to be mandatory for WBO. Robert Ilenius is the WBA gold champion. And Trevor Bryan's number one for WBA belt. I mean, you've got Pool F and Charlie Martin one and two for IBF. There's loads of, loads of things that can happen to stop this and just because somebody's just because somebody's agreed to a fight in principle all that's happened technically is they've come to an agreement 50-50 to fight and they'll have a rematch and the winner of the first fight gets 60 and loses 40 that's it the rest is just PR isn't it in my opinion it's just PR they're trying to take people's minds off the Joshua speech and there's all sorts of things going on I mean does anybody even believe that with Joshua with his leg brace I mean why would he want to put himself in full view at Wales Media walking around in a leg brace but yeah there's no doctor's stuff off about that or anything like that are they trying to park Joshua up so he don't fight pool F so he gets an exemption then can go straight into the fight with Fury after the Wilder Fury fight I don't know but does anybody believe anything that Frank Warren says? I mean, Frank Warren, the man that said Cleverly Hopkins was agreed in principle. Ricky Burns against Broner agreed in principle. I mean, <laughs> Eddie Hearn, the man that said Froch Chevez were a done deal. You know, you can go on forever, can't you? Bob Arum, the man that teased us for six, seven years with Pacquiao Mayweather when they fought. It were a dog with fleas, wasn't it? It's, they stunk the place out, didn't they? You know, it's... Uh, do, you know what, these people, right, the promoters, aren't they, and, and self-promoters, pound notes win the day, don't they? But I don't believe any of it. And all these, all the cult, the little cult, the Johnny Nelsons, the Gareth A. Davis, even Coogan's part of the cult now, the wheel in them out left, right, and centre. Bean! The wheel bean out straight away, didn't they, Monday morning? You know, it's. Uh, I don't believe any of it. Bob, Bob Arum is a master of this, isn't he? He's a master. He's been at it years. They, they know how to sell a fight. This is just the beginning. There's a lot of chess moves, and there's going to be a lot of this. Uh, there's going to be a lot of that over the next probably year, 18 months. So. I, w I wouldn't get your hopes up too much. If they've agreed a deal, that's good, in it? But it could only ever be a 50-50, the first one, couldn't it? Because you've got Tyson's won every belt and he's Lanil. Joshua's never had a ring magazine belt, so he's not Lanil, is he? And he ain't had the WBC. Tyson's that clean sweep. Joshua's a paper champion. He should go with a begging bowl, Joshua, and accept 40%. And if he loses, 30% in rematch. So they've had a touch, the matchroom lot, with 50% if it happens. They've had a touch with that. I mean, they're going to get, they'll get beat against Fury. So they get 90% of all the money generated from two massive fights. They've had a touch, haven't they? And Eddie Aino will get so much of that. Come on. They've had it off. They've had it off. But I don't want to hear all this... You know, it, it, it's a done deal and they've agreed and all this. It's, we're talking about Frank Warren here and Eddie Hearn and obviously Tyson Fury. It's, they're, talking, they're talking baba. But if it's a done fight and it's a done deal, brilliant, but there's a long way to go yet. 
But there's plenty more twists and turns. We're probably going to have all these people going 60 40, 70 30. You know, all these experts are all going to be wheeled out. Um, but it's interesting to look at other people, what they're saying here. All these people, these diehard macho gimps from Gimpville Island. Looking at the comments this morning, it's shocking. Two men have said, yeah, we'll fight 50 50 and we'll have a rematch. A winner gets 60 and loser 40 in second fight. That's all that's happened. The rest is just PR nonsense. I mean, how many times do we get let down by the, the, this kind of this kind of stuff? How many times we're let down all the time, aren't we? By we're let down all the time by fights that don't happen. And it is a good fight, but it's lost a bit of sparkle now. Joshua's been beat, hasn't it? That's what I think, anyway. I mean, what TV companies are going to broadcast it in England? BT or Sky? I mean, can they work together? I mean, B, uh, Frank Warren and Eddie have only put three fights on, haven't they, in ten years between them. So, but yeah, they'll put this one on. They'll put the differences aside for this one. Of course, they will, because there's money involved, won't they? But if it happens, but I'm not so sure it happens, really, me, to be honest. I'm not so sure. I'm one of them. I'm not a conspiracy theory, but theorist or whatever they call it I just think that we're dealing with people that tell lies on a daily basis for self gain all of them they're all in the same pot they're all in mix even media people who work at Sky they're all hanging out at the back of certain people and giving people G ups on YouTube and that because they know down the line it works better for them just tell the truth for once in a while Come on social media and say it's a done deal when you've got two contracts and they're signing. You can go, there you go, we've got contracts here, they're both signed. That's what I want to see. I don't want to hear nonsense. I've heard of a five years worth of nonsense about, yeah, we're doing this, we're doing that. We've got some at bubbling, we've got this, we've got that. I've heard enough of it. I've heard 62 months of it. So my head's going to blow off. That's what I've heard. So I don't believe it. I don't believe a word of it. If people want to say, Porky, you're a hater, you're bitter, you're negative. No. I don't believe it until I see the contract. Show me a contract. Show me a venue. Show me TV companies that are saying they're going to do this and going to do that. Show me that Sky are taking it or BT or the merging. Show me that. Show me all these mandatories and all these contracts with these other fighters. Show me all that's taken care of and show me fight dates and let's see him get it ring then I'll believe it till then it's a load of old pony so peace out dog nightmares